What's up guys, Andrew, AKA the Glocktopus here with Glocktopus Reviews. And on this Christmas special, I'm bringing you a review on the Handle It Grips Stick On Grip for your Glock handguns. If you guys wanna see more cool Glock handgun accessory reviews like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Let's get started. guys we're gonna get into this tabletop review and installation of the handle it grips custom gun grip for the Glock 19x and 45 um, the installation process that I'm gonna show you today for this grip is going to be the same uh, straight across the board for most of the grips that they offer for the Glock handguns um, I don't know so much about the other handguns but I can show you what it's like to install these on the curvatures of the Glock handguns as always guys when you're working on your weapons Make sure that they're clear and any ammunition that you have is in a separate room, not in the same room that you're working on the weapon on. So we've got a clear weapon here and we'll be able to start this process of installing this gun grip from Handle It Grips. So I'm gonna do a little bit of explaining guys. Before you start installing this grip, um, you're gonna wanna turn this over, the packaging. They've got some really, really good and concise instructions that you need to read on here. Um, one thing that you need to note guys once you apply this grip to your weapon uh, uh, there is no putting it on another one it's a one-time use one and done so if this is the grip that you're going to be putting on your weapon make sure that you have chosen the right color configuration that you want um, that way you don't ruin it and have to purchase another one um, the first things first guys what you're going to do is you're going to get some alcohol i've got some rubbing alcohol here isopropyl alcohol um, you're going to want to get the frame of the weapon really really clean any grease grime dirt dust off of it because that is going to hinder installing this uh this grip enhancer so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wipe all of this down. I'm also going to grab an Allen key and see if I can get this magwell off for you guys. Uh, the magwell here is really, really nice. Sometimes it gets in the way when you're trying to do installations. So what we'll do is we'll just get this off for you guys. And we'll put that to the side and then we'll put it back on once the installation is finished. All right, let's continue wiping this down. Make sure when you've got the alcohol, guys, that you're really getting in here good and rubbing this down, getting all this dirt and dust that sits in between these little ridges here on the, the frame. Also here in these little indentions on the side of the frame. And then right here in the front, you're gonna get this clean as well. So after you've got this wiped down and clean, guys, go ahead and place that to the side and let that dry completely. You don't want to install these grips on top of the alcohol. You wanna make sure this is nice and dry. Super nice. Um, when you open these up, just go ahead and rip that. It's got everything that you need inside of the packaging. Um, I use my own alcohol, but Handle It Grips does include a little alcohol swab for you to use inside of the package. So you've got a total of five pieces here that go installed on the weapon. Like I said, this is gonna be the alcohol swab that they include. Um, I just like to bring my own alcohol, bigger bottle, that way I can use as much as I want to. Um, after this is sat here and has had time to dry off guys, first thing that you're going to do, um, the piece that I like to install first is going to be this back ridge piece for the grip. So we'll get this taken off right quick. Uh, 
So avoid as much as possible, guys, putting your fingers here on the back on this adhesive. Um, the way you work on this, I'm gonna try and get this on camera as much as possible for you guys. This is gonna go right here at the bottom, right in the middle on the bottom of the magwell. Kind of get that right up the back strap in the middle as much as possible. And put some pressure down there in the middle. And then you can go ahead, they've got these nice little cuts in the side so it's easy to wrap it around. You can push this down, little pressure here. Uh, the other thing that I didn't tell you guys that you're gonna need, you're going to need a hair dryer. Hair dryer is part of this process. Um, it helps the adhesive cure and helps this grip stick to your handgun. So now that we've got this, I like to use this little roller. I stole this from my wife. Um, you can use what's called a stitching roller for stitching patches on tires. Those are kind of aggressive. They're made out of metal. Um, but this roller is made out of marble. Nice, easy. It's not gonna cause marring or scarring to this grip. What I do is I go ahead and take this and I give it a little pressure and I roll this just to get that adhesive down into these little bumps and grooves that are on the Glock frame here. Um, just gets that stuck a little bit easier. So go ahead and take your hair dryer, guys, and you can get this on high. Um, you're gonna heat this up for about, I'd say one, two minutes. Don't get it super duper hot. Get this, this grip nice and melty. Um, again, get that hot and we're gonna heat this up and stick it down for you guys. All right guys, after you get that nice and heated, go ahead and take your stitching device that you chose to use, little roller, whatever you can find. Roll this down, give it a little pressure. Uh, you're gonna do this two to three times for this grip. So I'm probably going to speed this up and you'll be able to see, but we're going to keep working on this. All right, now that you see that gets heated when you press on it, you actually see these ridges start to come through on these rubber grips. So you know that's starting to adhere to the frame really nicely. I'll try and get that. There you go. So now that we've got that heated up, we're gonna go ahead and start on the front piece that wraps around the frame. That's gonna be this one here. Uh, peel this off again guys try not to touch the adhesive keep your hands off of it as much as possible uh, this again like the other piece has a lot of cutouts on it to help promote being able to bend this around the frame uh, one thing that i do need to note guys when you are installing this you want to make sure that none of this grip enhancement blocks your magazine release button or your slide release up at the top. So be very aware and very careful with this, guys. This is one thing that you don't want to uh, block or get messed up. Um, they do have this little window here cut out in the side of this grip that you can get right over the Glock emblem on the side of the frame. So you know that you've got it lined up pretty good if that uh, is showing through the window. Next little note, guys. Um, this part up here, like I said, up by the slide release, make sure that is not impending on the slide release at all. Uh, pretty straightforward, this little cutout that's here in the indention, um, that's where that goes. Give that a little push. And then right here on the back, guys, on the back strap, you'll see that this is actually, let's see if we can get that in focus for you. Both of these, where they meet up, should be seamless, all right? So it wraps right around the frame and it should touch right along the edge of this backstrap piece. You've got, like I said, the window here for the Glock 
emblem on the frame. And then you've got this nice little Handle It Grips logo cut out of the other side. Um, once you've got that laid down on here nice and within the parameters that you need it on the frame, all these pieces touching nice on the sides. Again, guys, take your hair dryer. Go ahead. And we're going to run this uh, back and forth over the frame. Not too hot. We're going to do this two to three times and get this adhesive adhered to the frame itself. So we're going to work on that. That's pretty much it guys for the grip right here where your hand goes installing that grip enhancer goes on really easy guys like i said make sure you're not blocking this mag release button or the slide release up at the top and make sure your sleeve your seams are lining up here on the back strap and on the sides um, the last two pieces they've got for these grip enhancements are going to be these two little pieces that go here at the front of the frame um, I call it the finger rest area, so right here on the side, um, right there where you index and place your finger on the side of the frame, so we'll get those installed as well. Um, they're pretty straightforward, they are shaped to go only on one side or the other, so you can't really get this mixed up, you just go with the cuts and the angles. We'll stick this little one on here guys, right in the front. Put that in a good location, kind of put that right in the middle with the angle there. And then on the other side, same thing. With this angle to the back, right about there. And you push that on just like the others. Same process guys, you're gonna heat these up two to three times and push them on. Now for time's sake guys, I'm not gonna Keep heating these up for you on video but you do this a couple more times on each one of these on the frame these two little pieces here on the side and on this back strap and that's going to get this grip installed for you guys really really nice um, like i said they've got the rubber versions they have sandpaper and they have vinyl three different kinds they come in different colors with inlays insets here that can be red i've seen blue just different colors that suit your fancy i'm a real big fan of the rubber version just really enhances the grip for me. I'm not a big stiple guy. I don't like permanent modifications of my frames. Um, it's just me. I like being able to, if I wanna take this off at a later time, if I wanna sell this gun, which I don't really do a lot of uh, selling of what I have. Um, honestly, I don't sell anything that I have. This is just my preference that I can be able to take this off at any time and change it to whatever else I want and I'm not stuck with a certain stippling pattern or stipling pattern that somebody has put on this frame for me. Really, really nice guys. As you've seen here, um, this is my Glock 19 and this is my Glock 45. Um, really, really nice guys. You see here, you've got the rubber grip enhancement on both of these pistols. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this packed up for you guys and we're going to give you my solid review on these grips. But yeah, these are really nice. Take the time to install these right guys. Get a good hair dryer. Uh, don't heat it up too hot. Oh, another thing guys, do not get gun cleaning solvent on these grips. Um, gun cleaning solvent will dissolve the adhesive that is underneath these grips and these grips will come off. So be really careful when you're cleaning these weapons. Uh, don't get a lot of solvent everywhere on the frame. Uh, just keep that in mind. 
Also, if you do have a little extra adhesive um, on the frame uh, from you putting it on, say you needed to move it, go ahead and take just a little bit of alcohol and a rubbing cloth and you can get that adhesive right off of the frame. Even if when you're uninstalling this and you want some of the adhesive off, same thing guys, just use a bit, little bit of rubbing alcohol to get that off for you guys. So like I said, we're gonna get this packed up and I'm gonna give you my solid review on the Handle It Grips Grip Enhancer. Um, for your Glock handgun frames. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my solid review on these Handle It Grips uh, accessories for your Glock handguns. My rating is gonna be a 7.5 out of eight Glock Twist Arms. Um, these grips are really, really nice. I've had this grip installed for right around four months, three, four months. Um, I carry this weapon daily and I don't have any issues with this grip actually coming off or making things sticky in my hands. It went on easy as you guys see in the video. Um, it's just a really, really nice grip addition for those guys that don't wanna do permanent modifications to their frames. Really, really nice guys. Um, if you don't like the grip that you've chosen, you can always go over to Handle It Grips and choose another grip. Choose the sandpaper or choose another color. Um, there's so many options that these guys offer over on their website. If you guys wanna know where to get one of these grips, go ahead and click the link in description or link in bio. That's gonna take you over to another page, whether it be GlockTopusReviews.com or my link tree. Look for the handle it grips link click it take you over to their website and you can get whatever you need uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns about what you've seen in the video today go ahead and leave those down in the comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up on instagram and youtube that'll help me get my video out to more people if you guys like reviews like this go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on facebook Instagram and YouTube. On Instagram and YouTube, make sure you're clicking the notification icon. That's the bell icon up in the corner. That'll get all of my newest content over to you as quick as possible. As always guys, stay healthy, stay safe. Check you guys later.